Okay, this is how I will actually prioritize my search for stocks. Okay, so of course, I will still look for undervalued blue chips. Uh, so some of the blue chip has not recovered or either that have not recovered fully. Okay, I'll still look for undervalued blue chip. Okay, that's one. Okay, after that, my second tier is look for steady dividend yield. Okay, steady dividend yield. Okay, my third is the growth business. Third is growth business. And my fourth is cash position. So this is how would I would actually prioritize. So under moment. the undervalued blue chip, uh, so now uh, the thing that I'm actually looking at is actually low PB. Uh, low PB. Okay. So as you know, I think I've actually explained a lot of times uh, when banks PB below one, uh, it actually get me very excited. Uh, and today, today, uh, some of the banks are still PB below one. So UOB. Uh, the PB, these are PB value. Uh, PB is 0.987. OCBC PB is uh, 0.977. Okay. Hong Leong Finance, the PB is only 0.571. Okay. So these are for banks. So one bank get PB below one. I'm still excited. Uh. Okay. Uh, then of course, Capital Land to me, uh, below 0.7 will be exciting. So Capital Land is still below 0.7. And Hong Kong Land, uh, I... I still cannot understand how come Hong Kong land can have such a low case. They didn't even you, of course, we are looking mostly at REITs. Huh? So to me, uh, I only look for REITs that the dividend yield must be more than 6% and above. Uh, and I must like the property. So these are the three REITs that I said in cheap inside my watch list. Uh, Capital Pacific Oak, uh, US REITs, okay, currently give about 8.7% yield. Sesua REIT, 7.6%. Maple Tree North Asia, uh, uh, North Asia Trust, 6.1%. Okay. Next category, growth business. Uh, growth business. I'm actually looking at China. I'm very positive about China growth story. I think China, uh, if you actually read the papers, China is the only country that have GDP growth the last year. And this year, they are very bound for very strong rebound. So this is actually an ETF. Uh, okay, XT, uh, MS China ETF. This is actually an ETF. Okay, so Riverstone is uh, something very similar to what Top Glove do, but of course in smaller scale. Uh, it's a smaller company compared so to the five uh, companies that I flag out uh, based on this criteria is actually Yang Zijiang, Genting, HR Net Group, okay, Valuetronics, okay. and Top Med. But these are the different ways that I'll get stock ideas under value blue chips, steady dividend yield, growth business, strong cash position. Then after that, we will actually collect more information, then we compare side by side. Uh, then after that, when it's time to buy them, we decide what to buy.